Hello everyone, this is Danny from pocketgamer.co.uk Here's a little hands-on straight from Capcom's Monster Hunter 4G booth at Tokyo Game Show 2014. As you can see I'm using the new 3DS in its first public hands-on demo. You've got the new ZL and ZR buttons on the back here as well as the new analog button on the right here above the ABXY face buttons. Placement's pretty handy for all of these buttons, and it seems as if the nub is going to be compatible with all titles that uh, previously would have used the Circle Pad Pro. The ZL and ZR buttons are just a slight reach around from the L and R buttons, but not really out the way, and uh, they're pretty handy for shortcuts in more complex games like this. The Start and Select buttons have moved down to just under the A, B, X, Y buttons, while the Home button remains where it's usually at, just beneath uh, the lower screen on the unit. The volume slide has also been moved, it's up on the top side of the clamshell, uh, just opposite the 3D slider. Although you can't see here as I'm in 2D mode for this video, the 3D mode has a much much wider viewing angle than the previous 3DS and 3DS XL units. So you might actually want to venture outside of the 2D realm, which I must admit I very rarely do at present. The new analog nub feels a lot like a uh, track point mouse that you might have used with an old like ThinkPad IBM laptop, so it's quite responsive and uh, a little bit stiff but still very comfortable. These new 3DS models are out here in Japan in October 2014, but they won't hit the Western markets until early 2015. Also remember that 3DS units are region locked, so don't rush out to import one unless you're planning to stick to Japanese 3DS games. After speaking to Capcom, it seems as if the new version of Monster Hunter you can see here, 4G, isn't making use of the extra memory available to the new 3DS, which seems a bit of a shame, but I guess uh, developers can't really win on that front, as many of us would complain if it wasn't fully optimized for the original 3DS models. So they're kind of damned if they do and damned if they don't. So I'm playing uh, Monster Hunter 4G in single player mode and I'm on a quest to slay the Great Jaggy, which looks to be the dinosaur that killed Newman in Jurassic Park. I'm hunting alongside two of my Palicos, who are providing me with some much needed support as I'm uh, not that great at Monster Hunter even after all this time. Monster Hunter 4G has some brand new fortes and team attacks that these Palicos can perform, as well as just giving you general support, you know, with healing and whatnot. Monster Hunter 4G shouldn't be confused with Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, which is already out here in Japan and on its way to the West in early 2015. This is rather an even more optimized version of Monster Hunter 4, with no Western release date currently planned. Well that's it, that's the Great Jaggy done and dusted. Stay tuned to Pocket Gamer for more footage from the Tokyo Game Show floor.